How's it going? I'm Andrew with Investors Hub, and this is five things that happened in the market this week with the theme being that I'm salty as all hell. So we learned this morning that the U.S. missed its expected jobs growth numbers by a pretty gigantic margin. So they were expecting that we would get between 800,000 and a million new jobs, and instead we only got 266,000. And because the market as a hell designed specifically to torment me, uh, this caused a rally in the S&P 500, or at least the S&P 500 still rallied despite the news. And Reuters points out that missing the jobs growth number could be a good thing for the market because so long as growth continues to be bad, the Fed will continue pumping the market. And so long as the Fed's pumping the market, it's going to keep going up. I don't know what's going to happen throughout the rest of the day because filming and editing and writing isn't instantaneous. So uh, there might be a dip later. Who knows? But uh, as of Friday morning, the S&P 500 is taken off. So against all sense and good reason, Doggy Coin decided to pop off recently. And uh, it's trading at around 60 cents as of Friday morning. And the rally could be happening because of the fact that Elon Musk is supposed to be talking on SNL on May the 8th which uh, is a Saturday, which I don't really, I don't have to point that out because it's SNL and it's Saturday Night Live. So yeah, on Not Sunday Live, uh, our meme lord and savior is probably going to be talking about doggy coin. Now, will this be a sell the news event or will this be some sort of rallying flare for the common man to pile into the new glory that is doggy coin? I don't know. Also, there appears to be a little bit of a disconnect between what Elon is saying and what Tesla thinks whenever it comes to their self-driving cars coming out by the end of this year. So on Thursday, we started seeing some news about the fact that Tesla wrote a memo or a memo between Tesla and the California DMV that they don't think that self-driving cars without a person are going to come out by the end of the year. They're still on like level two or level three, which in summary just means that someone still has to be sitting behind the wheel. So we also learned about Bill and Melinda Gates splitting up uh, after being married for 27 years. We learned about that on Monday. And I don't want to talk about that too much because of the fact that, first of all, I think the memes are in bad taste. And also this isn't TLC which, by the way, uh, stands for The Learning Channel. So I think they lost their way a little bit there. But yeah, shares of Microsoft uh, dipped about 2% into the middle of the week and climbed up again. And it could be because of the news that we learned on Monday, but it, because of the fact that even though uh, Bill Gates left the board of Microsoft back in uh, March of last year, his name is pretty much glued to the idea of Microsoft. So the sort of meme stock rocket mortgage, RKT, fell flat on its face, and so did I. And uh, yeah, so we're already in a market where people have to blow their earnings completely out of the water to actually gain anything during earnings. And even if they do, sometimes they still decline. I mean, heck, look at Apple. Well, uh, yeah, so not only did RKT not blow their earnings out of the water, they actually missed their earnings. So that was terrible. And, uh, but what did get blown out of the water was my call option, which I will put on screen for all to see. Rest in peace, me. And yeah, so I was betting on strong meme energy because it popped off uh, last time they had earnings. Though, to be fair, they apparently had a surprise uh, money distribution, right? They had a surprise shareholder uh, distribution that was going to go out and that very much increased the price of the stock along with people piling in because of meme power. But, you know, I guessed the wrong meme and I should have picked Doggy Coin.